the wonders of Amazon. Amazon is one of the biggest e-retailers in the world today, owning 74% of the e-commerce market share, according to WWD. They have everything you need from Apple products to Zen. With more than 20 categories to choose from, Amazon makes shopping more convenient and secure. I'm going to share with you today how to use Amazon's success to your advantage by opting in on their affiliate program. Some things you will find in this course are an in-depth definition of the Amazon affiliate program, advantages of being an Amazon associate, tips to become a successful Amazon associate, the do's and don'ts of the Amazon associate program. What is the Amazon affiliate program? But did you know that you can actually earn profits from Amazon? They run one of the most popular affiliate programs online, also known as the Amazon Associates program. This is an affiliate marketing program that allows website owners and bloggers to earn commissions through the use of an affiliate link. In a nutshell, you are basically helping retailers find lifelong customers and promoting brand loyalty. It provides consumers with the convenience of referring them to a trusted site where they can immediately purchase products that you recommend. You can earn up to 8.5% in referral fees. Why choose Amazon Affiliates? The Amazon Affiliate Program is considered to be one of the world's fastest growing and easiest internet marketing techniques to earn passive income. Cost effective, massive reach, and no unnecessary fees involved. And the affiliate program is bundled with high conversion rates. When a customer clicks your link, they are directed straight to Amazon, and you will get a percentage of anything they buy for the next 24 hours. It's that simple. Amazon pays associates based on the entire purchase price, not just the product you advertised. Regardless whether they purchase the exact product you recommend or not, you will get the commission for their purchase, provided they check out before the shopping cart expires. In other words, you don't have to advertise junk on your website or coerce customers to buy your recommendation. You can recommend the products you believe in and let them make up their own mind and still get a cut of the sale. The very best part about the program, it is absolutely free. How much can you earn? So there's this rumor floating around out there that Amazon pays only 4%. That might not seem like a lot if your website is centered around being thrifty or making things yourself. But remember, you are redirecting your viewers to the biggest shopping site in the world. Think of it like a big grocery store. There's a reason they stick sodas and candy in the checkout lanes. And that 4% rumor is just that. 4% is the minimum turnaround. The more they buy, the more you get, up to 8.5%. The base rate that you will earn depends on the product category. Amazon coins can earn as much as 10%, while video game console products earn 1%. Everything else is calculated by sales for the month, so depending on your site's content, you could be earning more or less on qualifying purchases. Amazon keeps an updated chart of their affiliate page, so you can see where the type of products you might be linking will fall. In short, the more purchases that are made through your redirect, the more income you can earn, and all without bashing your viewers over the head with heavy advertising schemes, some of which are prohibited in the affiliate rules. How do you get started? Sign up. Amazon makes it simple to register. Account approval normally takes 24 to 48 hours, and it is free to join. As soon as your account has been approved, you can start adding links, recommending good products that your viewers will already want, and collecting passive income. Use your existing blog. If you already have written content, then there's an opportunity to add links. I learned the trick from a small budget indie film producer years ago. He scanned through a script I was working on to evaluate who he could pitch it to in order to use advertising money. He found every instance of soda or beer and had me replace them with a generic label so that he could count the placement spots. On your blog, you can simply replace product mentions with a link. Find a niche. If you are starting from scratch, it is best to find a niche that will work for you and build your website around it. This would also work with the veteran bloggers out there. It is highly suggested to create a specific blog or website around each product category. If you are into the blog for business reasons, then this shouldn't be an issue. If you want something personal, design your blog in such a way that product placement will look natural. Maximize exposure. Use all of that website prime real estate. Amazon Associates have widgets and online stores that you can add to your website template. 
You can also list several recommended products or top 10 lists in your sidebar. They even have a plugin to make your life easier. This does a great job of improving click rates. This will allow you to quickly insert a text-based affiliate link. Moreover, through plugins, you can use product image as an affiliate link and you can also convert US Amazon links to UK, GR, etc. by link location. Optimize your blog or website. Adopt search engine optimization techniques such as keyword density, short URLs, and backlinks to increase traffic to your website. The more people visit your site, the more clicks you will have on your Amazon Associates link. Link directly to the product page. This should go without saying, but it's a common mistake that most new affiliates make. They link to a search results page or a category homepage. Try to put yourself into your customer's shoes. You do not want to read another article when you are ready to purchase, do you? It is all about making a smooth transition from the product page to the actual purchase in Amazon. Be authentic and natural. Knowing your niche, the essentials. If you want to fail like a boss, then take your existing page and convert it to an advertisement for everything under the sun. Fill it with links to absolutely everything and leave your readers feeling like they just spent 10 minutes watching a bunch of commercials instead of gaining value from your site. If you want to keep your viewers and build that side income on the side, you need to stick with your niche. Don't advertise camping products if your blog is about personal fitness or nutrition. Designing blogs in an attempt to tempt your readers into buying everything on Amazon is the fastest way to fail. Not only will they not follow the links, they'll stop visiting. The niche you choose is the most important decision you will make. It is much easier to make money through Amazon's affiliate program if your visitors are looking for a specific product that your website discusses. So, take those products you love so much, with the content you love, and share them with your audience in a natural way. Go back to your mission statement and make sure that your advertising goals are in line with your goals for the website. It's that simple. This will be easier for some than others, but that doesn't mean it has to be complicated. Talk about and link to products you endorse. Remember, your name is going to be attached to every recommendation, specifically if you are running a blog. Don't tarnish your reputation by linking to things half-heartedly. There's plenty of products out there which are aligned with your goals and purpose. Basically, your readers are on your blog because they look up to you and want the same products that you are personally using to achieve the similar results. Write product reviews and buying guides. Experts suggest that these topics easily convert to sales primarily because it creates value for your consumers. Believe it or not, your readers appreciate a detailed report, as this suggests extensive research from the writer, rather than an article that merely pushes for sales. Like any other marketing campaign, Amazon affiliate campaigns need a strong foundation. You need to have a structured plan in place. Always remember that people can easily go to the Amazon for the purchase and they do not need some link to get them to their product. Your job here is to provide value for your customers that will motivate them to buy from your link. Writing to generate sales. Your readers come to you because they like your writing, your attitude, and the benefit that you bring to their lives. Maybe they haven't decided yet what to buy and they rely on you for your expert advice. It is up to you how to convince them to choose the products you promote. Keep in mind that this is not a hard selling. You do not need to be pushy. This would only damage your credibility as a blogger. Instead, think from a visitor's perspective. Put yourself in their shoes and ask yourself, what will make you buy the product? This is the most effective way to convince any potential customers. More often than not, customers are just looking for a final piece of information to be convinced that the product is right for them. Own that. Be that final piece of the puzzle. Write about best sellers. Products landed on that list for a reason, precisely because they are proven to outperform their competition. Choose the products in Amazon's best sellers list and build your website around that product or category. Amazon has done the research for you and they have dedicated a page for their best selling products. Use trending topics as your lighthouse. Look for a topic that garnered the highest search. Chances are these topics have a corresponding product or service available in Amazon. Whatever you choose to post, it is important to remember the three keys that a customer is searching for. Price, features, and comparison. Give them what they want. On this note, it's best not to include the list price exactly, 
but compare the price category to similar products as Amazon adjusts their prices all the time. Lastly, give a credible and balanced review of the product. Always write about the pros and the cons of the product. It should be the ultimate buyer's guide. Your goal should be to write an article that answers every possible question your readers could have on the product. The primary goal shouldn't be the one-time sale. It should be to keep your audience coming back for more. Linking Strategies for Conversions The Amazon affiliate program is competitive, but it's detrimental to think of other affiliates as competition. At the end of the day, your viewers are where you are making your money, so focusing on how to steal another website's audience is irrelevant. Grow your audience the same way every blogger does, and your sales will come with them. Once they are on your page, there are ways to maximize your potential, and it comes down to linking products effectively. Here's how. Link to special offers. Amazon's admin page provides details of its latest deals. Use it to attract the ones in your audience who might not want to shell out their hard-earned cash for expensive products. Clue them in when deals are happening. This will show you care more about their wallet, and they will be more inclined not only to purchase, but to come back for more great advice. Create custom banners and links for any product page on Amazon. If you have a photo of a product that you like being used by you, then your audience will be more inclined to trust what you have to say about it. They'll also know that you are using a product you enjoy. This is actually an advantage of staying small. You don't need a football player for an endorsement. You are the reason your audience shows up, and they want your opinion. Of all the links on my website, the most common ones clicked behind the menu bar at the top are my inline links. Viewers can finish the article and then scroll up and click a highlighted link. Most of Amazon sales transactions come from basic text links inside the content body of a blog post. They are the most effective way to get web visitors to click. People tend to find the body of the content more credible than any other area of the website. Make product images clickable. Think about how you browse the net and social media. Isn't it nice when you see something you want, you can simply click on it and order without hassle? Every image featuring the product as a subject matter should be clickable. No excuses. The do's of Amazon affiliate marketing. Post links regularly. Look for creative ways to incorporate product recommendations into your blog posts while still letting the reader know you are offering them expertise on your website subject. Make featured articles or a simple product trivia. Include a call to action such as buy now or add to cart buttons. Be specific when using keywords. For example, instead of using best Android phone of 2016, try best Android phone of 2016 under $100. Although these long tail keywords may not deliver as much traffic to your site, these are high conversion type keywords that drive sales. Use alternate traffic sources. There are many other traffic sources that you can tap into to promote Amazon products simultaneously. Utilize other platforms simultaneously with your site or blog. Remember, the more targeted traffic you can direct to your sales page, the more chances of closing a sale. Use Google AdWords to drive targeted traffic to your sales page or run a Facebook ad. Ramp up the normal means of directing traffic to your site, not to Amazon. Trade Amazon Associates Referral Links Since Amazon prohibits the use of an affiliate link to your own purchase, you may ask somebody else, like another blogger or even a friend, to use your link instead. In return, you could return the favor for them in the future. You can have the discount Amazon provides, plus you have helped another associate earn their commission. Use lists. Most online stores keep lists of popular products. Make your own recommendation lists every month or quarter on a new topic and keep it updated. Your viewers will appreciate the efforts that you put into your website. In the long run, this will keep your audience more engaged and will encourage loyalty. Recommend more products. Amazon Affiliate Program is straightforward. The more you recommend Amazon products, the more money you make. It also lets you provide more direct links to the things your audience is interested in, and they can trust you as their own personal Amazon filter, thus delivering more value to them. Create a product comparison grid. Doing so for all of the products under the same category is one quick way to get a bunch of links in one spot. This will allow your viewers to sort by various features. This strategy makes it easier for your readers to make their decision on your site and link directly across to Amazon once they figure it out. 
the don'ts of Amazon affiliate marketing. For some bloggers and niche site builders, making money from Amazon can become a nightmare. Just like any ads or affiliate programs, Amazon reserves the right to ban you anytime. If you break any of Amazon's terms of service, all of the hard work you have could fly out the window. So if you are planning to build something with them, take note of the following. Don't set up more than one account. As a general rule, you are only entitled to one Amazon associate account. Amazon had authorized multiple account holders depending on the nature and scale of the associate business. You can request multiple accounts directly from customer service, but unless your business is huge, don't expect them to make an exception for you. From a business sense, if you do have drastically different companies, then set up an advertising business and route your affiliate money through that. There's generally no need to set up more accounts, and doing so could get you permanently banned from having one at all. Don't link from your email list. Amazon explicitly bans the use of any affiliate links in any offline manner. This applies to emails, too. They have a good reason, but it isn't important. What's important is that you don't send links out with your newsletters. Instead, link to a page on your site that includes the affiliate links, as you would with any other advertising service. The same applies to ebooks and PDF documents or any links that aren't specifically directed affiliate traffic from your blog. Avoid short links or any kind of masking. Amazon requires a clear identification of its link. Customers should be able to identify that they are clicking special link directed to the Amazon site. You can use Amazon's default link shortener service, Amazon 2, but stay away from others and always make it clear where your link is directing the reader. They will appreciate it too. Don't purchase from your own link. This is a special program for your viewers, not for you. It's best not to try to sidestep this system either, as Amazon's monitoring software is continually updated specifically to check if users, authors, or affiliates are abusing their system. Be careful with social media links. You can add your media accounts through the affiliate program, but be cautious about the use. If you have 18 Facebook pages, double check that you are on a registered account before posting the link, or register all of them. If in doubt, double check and update your affiliate profile before posting. Don't plagiarize. It happens, we've all seen it. But don't do it and risk being the one Amazon chooses to make an example of. Even aside from Amazon's restriction, you shouldn't do it anyway. If you have freelancers writing your posts, run them through Copyscape. Your voice is what attracted your blog audience. Use it to your advantage. Don't link from adult content. If Amazon finds your articles too vulgar, obscene, excessively violent, or sexually explicit, then they don't want their link on your site. If your site is all about adult toys, well, you might have to create another website before joining the program. Sex sells, but not in the affiliate program. Don't link to special promotions. Once the promotion is over, or before it's over, Amazon expects you to remove any text that implies any kind of discounted sale. If you forget to remove the content, the internet goes down or whatever, you could get in trouble with Amazon. It's best not to do it at all, but if you want to announce it, the easiest way is by including the full date and time, including the year, that the promotion will end, and keep the text in its own isolated paragraph for easy removal later. Concluding Thoughts Amazon's affiliate program is a good way to earn a little cash on the side to support your website or even to create your own business from the ground up. I hope that the tips and explanations here were helpful in informing you about this service and giving you some ideas on how you can use your own blog to generate a little extra income. The long version of don'ts is in the terms of service agreement for the program, and this isn't an exhaustive list. I meant to pull out the most immediate features you will bump into as a blogger and point them out to prevent you from making common mistakes. As the process is so easy, there really isn't any reason why every blogger can't be including links on their pages, but especially if you deal with product placement in a niche market. The affiliate program is a great way to earn some extra cash for your project and can make very lucrative business when you begin learning to use it. A dedicated server space and a handful of URLs doesn't cost much yearly, but what if it could not only pay for itself, but earn you extra income as well?